Hi guys, Red Ninja here, and welcome to the very first episode of Chronographing Nerf Blasters. Now, this will be a little sub series on my channel where I chronograph some of my old blasters that I featured on this channel and see how far they are, these blasters actually hit. So I calculate the velocity and see how well they perform over the chronograph and yeah, that's basically it. Um, so today I thought I might kick off the series with a blaster that is very special to my heart, my Nerf Demolisher, aka the Dragon. Now, I call this the Dragon because when you rev it, it is really loud and it roars like a dragon. And what I've done to this is I've took, taken out the stock flywheel motors and replaced it with Rhino motors. I still have the stock flywheel cage and the flywheels from that. Everything's rewired via a 18 gauge wire with a 5 amp switch inside and it is now being powered off if I open up the battery compartment an 800 milliamp hour 3S LiPo with a 40 to 50 C discharge okay so I got the demolisher ready to go it is running off two Rhino motors as I said before um, did a full rewire all of that and it is running off a fully charged 3S LiPo, so we're looking at around 12.6 volts. It is an 800 milliamp hour with a 40 to 50 C discharge, just to reiterate. So, and the ammo that we're using is Elite Darts. So here we go. Put it up to the, put it up to the chrono, there, whoops. Maybe we'll put it like there. That's better. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, so 10 darts. Here we go. Wow. 84. 95. 102. 85. 102 92 101 89 101 100 That's it Okay, so after reviewing the test figures from the 10 dart shoot over the chronograph We've achieved a high of about 102 FPS, a low of 84 FPS, and an average of 95 FPS. So what do the test results mean? Well, one, I can now thoroughly confirm that the Demolisher does hit the 100 FPS mark, especially from, like, original Rhinos and I've expected them to hit around 98 to around 110, but I'm very happy with the performance of my Demolisher. Now, there's a couple of signs that I saw in this test that we've achieved a low FPS of around 84. I have a feeling because of the extended foe barrel right there, that it's actually decreasing the performance, but that's not really much to whine about honestly and also the fact that I'm using elite darts as well at the same time elite darts do have a bit of inaccuracy so there's that to watch out for but overall I am happy with the performance from my demolisher and yeah so that concludes the end of the video I'm probably going to be doing a lot more of these chronograph tests on my other blasters but yeah, I just wanted to give you a taste of what my chronograph can do and just show you what some mods can do to your flywheel blasters or to your nerf blasters in general. And yeah, so if you like the video, give this video a thumbs up, it really helps. And if you want to see more on Red Ninja Productions, subscribe and join the Ninja Academy. But until next time, see you guys later. Bye bye.